When I say Ron McBride, you think Utah football. I think of a builder, a guy who took something and made it better. He essentially resurrected the program and uh, put it back on the map. The Utes were a powerhouse after World War II, winning six conference titles in 11 years. But Coach Jack Curtis left after the 1957 season, and the hard times began. Can you explain how bad Utah football was when he took over as head coach? <laughs> well, it was, uh, you know, the program wasn't in good shape. We were average at best, and it was difficult for our university. McBride took over a program that had gone 32 years without a conference title, 25 years without a bowl game, and they were averaging just five wins a year. Jim Fossil's players quickly bought Coach Mack's pitch. I remember the first meeting. He said to me, look, Shaw, you could be somebody, but you got to have a better attitude. And I was just surly, pissed about everything. I'm like, Coach, I'm from L.A. I don't even know why I'm here, first of all. He goes, well, you are here, so let's make it the best. He goes, and if you take my road, not your own road, I promise you, you'll become a great ball player. I looked at him. I said, all right, Coach. Ended up being a four-year starter, doing things his way. You know, two-time all-conference safety, doing things his way. So, no, love coach. The trust was rewarded on the field. Mack's second game as head coach was at Minnesota. Seconds left in a tie game, the Gophers lining up for the winning field goal. We block the, uh, the field goal attempt. LaVon Edwards picks it up at the six-yard line, goes 94 yards for a touchdown. Time expires while he's running outside the far sideline is Ron McBride matching him step for step all the way down. We've got him ISO. He goes into the end zone, but Brian tackles him, and the whole team calls on top of him. That's Ron McBride. The youth won just two more games that year, but progress was made behind the scenes. Culture needed to be changed, and I know that's an overused term, but that's exactly what Mac did at Utah was change the culture. Mac changed one culture by tapping in to a second culture. He knew the Utah culture. He embraced it. Use the missionary program. Coach Mack brought the, uh, the mission program, I guess you could call it, uh, to the University of Utah. It was uh, very unique and, and special on his part to embrace it, him not being LDS. I remember at the time thinking it's going to be a different ball game now. Lavelle Edwards was right, and no game changed more quickly than the BYU-Utah game. We were really in bad shape during the 70s and the 80s. Beat him once in 78, once in 88. Lavelle comes in and he goes 16 and 2 against Utah in his first 18 years. And then so for Ron McBride to go 6 and 4 in his last 10 years against BYU was a dramatic turnaround. He, what he did is he just brought it up to a point of where we were, you know, we were, it, was, it was definitely a rivalry then. Through the mid-90s, McBride's teams went seven years without a losing season, posted five straight winning records, and made four bowl trips. Mack's 88 wins at the U is second only to the legendary Ike Armstrong. Mack left with fond memories. So I think even being fired at Utah was probably good for me. I went out and tried to recreate my career and would have, would have never been able to see the SEC and what that was like. Uh, would have never been able to be the head coach at Weber State. Uh, would have never have probably had an opportunity to coach with the Blaze. Mack was gone but his legacy would power the next coach. The ability to hire Urban Meyer here, would that have happened if Urban didn't see the cupboard full and see Ron as a recruiter? I've always said Urban is very shrewd. That is the number one word I use to describe him. So obviously he knew that it was possibility to, to do really well here. So, thank you, Mac. <laughs> oh, absolutely, and, and, and Urban has said those exact words to Ron. That's what's great about it. Ron McBride had a huge impact on Urban Meyer's successor. Coach Mack was the one who gave me my first opportunity to coach Division I football, which, uh, you know, there's thousands of guys out there that never get that break. A decade after his departure, McBride is still shaping Kyle Whittingham's decisions. He had the, the, uh, the faith in me to, to promote me to coordinator after just one year. So really, uh, I owe him a great deal. Do you have faith in a young Kalani Sataki and a young Brian Johnson, in large part because he had such faith in a young you? I think there's a lot to that. If you were explaining who Ron is, what the magic of his personality, that kind of draw he has, that makes him a good recruiter, that makes him a good people person, how do you explain that to One somebody? One word, passion. Ron impacted Utah. Where Utah football is today is in large part due to what Ron McBride did during his tenure here. But Utah impacted him. The state of Utah has uh, made such an impact on my life. You know, it's, it's just been, the people in the state are, have been so good to me over the last 30 years. And, and uh, everywhere I go, I'm always welcome. 
people are, you know, just it's been it's it's been a great life here.